Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Access 2016 Basics. My name is Steve Bishop and in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to use attachments on a form. So in our table, our people table, we have this column that contains an attachment. And what we probably want to do since this attachment is a picture uh, that's associated with this particular person, we probably want to see that picture when we pull up their record. So on our form that we have for people, when we're looking at this record for Steve Bishop, that would be me, of course, we want to be able to see the picture associated with them. And in this video, we're going to see how to make this happen. So in our people table, we have this column here that contains pictures of the people that are in our records. And I could just go to the design view here and yes, yes, that's fine. We can see that this picture column contains that attachment. And you can have multiple attachments inside of a record, by the way. So if I click on this, actually, if I double click on it, you'll see that I can add or remove the attachment to any given record. And that will be important to understand as we move forward when we're looking at the attachments on a form. But I'm just gonna leave the one for now. And now let's go to the people form. And I would like to add some sort of control on this form to display that attachment. Now you might be tempted to think that if we go up to the design view and look for the images, so we have this one here, this can do a bound object frame, or this one here shows an image, and this one is a, uh, also an unbound object frame. And you, you might get the impression that that's where you would do pictures. And that is for doing pictures. You could definitely add images uh, using like this image control. But the one that we actually want is this one here that looks like a paperclip. And you can see when we hover over it, it says attachment. So if I click on that and then just kind of click anywhere on the design surface of my form, it'll drop in the, uh, the attachment control. And I'm just going to remove this attachments label here. I don't really need it. But I'm just going to reposition this a little bit. And from there... I need to now make it so that this attachment is bound to that column on our people table. You can see up here it says unbound. That's because this control is not bound to any particular piece of data. So if I select on the, the attachment uh, control and then go over here to the data tab and select on the control source from the drop down picture. And that's the column on our people table that contains the attachments. And now, if I go and take a look at this, you'll see that the picture that is associated with me shows up in here. Now, what about if we add additional pictures? So, I'm going to go to People here and double-click on this, and we're going to add another attachment to this table. And I'm just going to look for one here. Uh, let's see. What's a good one? Uh, let's see. we got some good ones. Let's do this one right here. Okay. So now I have two attachments associated with this record. You can see that that is noted there with the two. So what's going to happen is when we open and take a look at the form, we will now still see me here. But if we click on the element, if we click on the control, we'll now see that there is this extra control on top of this. And I'm going to show you that you can actually also add additional attachments by clicking on this paperclip in a moment. But I do need to reload this form so that it picks up this new bit of data and also, of course, saves that control to the form. But now when I click on this, it should show. And why doesn't it? It should show. Oh, I haven't clicked off of that record yet. That's why. Okay. Now there we go. So now the button is blue, right? This forward button is blue. And if I click on forward, it should. There we go. It goes back and forth. Apparently, this one is now the first one. And my picture is the second one. So you can see that we can click back and forth between the different attachments associated with this record. And if we want to add another attachment, we just click on this paperclip and we have the same dialog here where we can add, remove, open, save as, save all, etc. I'm going to go ahead and remove that uh, O'Reilly, that fake O'Reilly cover and just leave it at this. But this is how you can show the pictures or the images of anyone that might be associated with a, a person record. And that's just one of the cool things that you can do in Access and just simply attach it on a form. 
I'd like to thank the following channel members. Without your contributions to this channel, it would not be possible to make this video. Thank you. Yeah.